in Arlington Heights, Mayor Lori Lightfoot thinks the answer could be money. Mm -hmm. And she says the city is planning to present the team a financially compelling case to stay at Soldier Field. And WGN's Mike Lowe is joining us now with more, Mike. Ray and Mike, Soldier Field, of course, has some well-known drawbacks. It is the oldest and smallest stadium in the NFL, and it's a real headache to get in and out of there on game day. But there are some significant advantages, too. The venue is, of course, situated on one of the most spectacular locations of any stadium in the country. The question is, can the city offer enough to make the Bears think twice about building their own home and a potential Wrigleyville-like development around it in Arlington Heights? We're going to continue to do everything we can uh, to keep the Bears in Chicago. During an appearance on the Mully and Haw Show on 670 The Score this morning, Mayor Lori Lightfoot revealed that her staff is working on a plan designed to entice the Bears to stay in the city of Chicago. Working on some plans to present to them that I think will make a very, very compelling financial case as to why it makes abundant sense for them to stay in Chicago. The mayor says she's not ready to publicly reveal what could convince the team to remain on the lakefront, but this week she announced a new committee to reimagine Soldier Field and that section of the museum campus. The Bears' current lease at Soldier Field runs through 2033, and last fall the team signed a purchase agreement, really an intent to buy the 326-acre Arlington Park campus located some 34 miles northwest of the city. You know, they're a tier one team in a tier one market, and they need tier one audience, fan base, and I don't think they can get that in Arlington Heights. But ultimately, the decision will be theirs. Last month, Bears President Ted Phillips said he's directing all of his time to the Arlington Heights project. You know, we haven't even begun to envision what it could be, um, but we're hopeful that if we close, that we'll be uh, you know, moving forward with uh, turning it into a, a wonderful destination site. The storied NFL team has played in four different venues, Staley Field in Decatur in the inaugural season, then the next 50 at Wrigley Field, then the next 50 at Soldier Field, with the exception of 2002 when the team played at Memorial Stadium in Champaign when Soldier Field was being renovated. The mayor hinted that major renovations could be on the table in the new proposal. Now when it comes to Soldier Field, it's no secret, I said, um, we need to significantly enhance the fan experience. It takes too long to get there. It's too hard. And if you're on the west side of the stadium or in one of the end zones, frankly, it's a crappy fan experience. The mayor also acknowledged that the window to strike a deal with the Bears is closing and must be completed before the team signs a contract to buy the land in Arlington Heights. But she says the city will be aggressive in its attempt to keep the city's most beloved team at the iconic Lakefront Stadium. We've seen a couple of proposals that are very, very interesting um, that really kind of re-envision Soldier Field and re-envision the area around Soldier Field, keeping in mind the restrictions on use of parkland. Um, but I, I think, you know, we can do this in a way that I think will be very economically enticing uh, to the Bears. And Bears Pre President and CEO Ted Phillips has said that the Arlington Heights deal will likely close at the end of the year or early next. So the city realistically has only about six months to craft this proposal to keep the Bears playing in the city of Chicago. So I guess the bottom line is stay tuned. Mm. Yeah, that's not a lot of time, though. No. <laughs> okay. I don't think the odds are stacked against Soldier Field. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Mike. Well, now to a 